everyone, it's Vesper Starwolf here with another book review. And today I'm going to be reviewing The Hunt for Elsewhere by Beatrice Vine. I feel almost bad because I have had this book on my to read pile for literal years. I've owned this book for so many years and I'm just now getting around to reading it. Uh, which that's the case for a lot of the books that I have, but, and I would always look at it and be like, I need to read that. I didn't get around to reading that, but I just now did. It was mainly because after I read Angels Before Man, I was wanting something a bit more uh, lighthearted that I knew what to expect from. And this does have its moments of drama and emotional moments, but it's par for the course with traditional talking animal stories. So I knew I could kind of handle this and it was a nice change of pace from Angels Before Man. So yeah, as I said, this is a talking animal story, you know, along the lines of like, what you would generally expect. I would say it's less of warrior cats and more of Homeward Bound, if anyone remembers that movie, but I might be showing my age. It's the story about a fox named Saxton and a wolf named Dante as they travel the American countryside to return the feather of the crow that raised Saxton to his family after he uh, unfor met up with some unfortunate circumstances. But they're on a time limit as the crows will uh, migrate for the winter and they have to hurry before they miss them. It's not too long of a story and it was pretty fun to read. Certain parts were a bit of a drag to get through while others were pretty fun. This is a very fast paced story because even though it's this short, so much happens in it. Um, so much. You know, the characters were fine. I enjoyed them. I will say it has the same strengths and weaknesses as other traditional talking animal stories. And this could really fit well with them. So if you like talking animal stories, you'll probably like this one too. I will say, I feel like they could have taken out some plot lines uh, that didn't, that were really short and didn't really go anywhere to give way for other plot lines. Like I really liked the stuff towards the end with the human village uh, where Two-Step the Fox lives and all the cats and the raccoons and the stuff with the wolf preservation. I think they should have length. I think the author should have made that section longer and taken out some of the stuff that didn't really matter. Like before they reach that town, they run into junkyard dogs. And I really didn't like that part because it had happened after some other dramatic stuff happened. I think that would have been time for like some breathing room just to let the characters and the readers kind of catch their breath, but it just went into more action. And uh, they did something with one of the junkyard dogs named Mars that I didn't really like. It was the first time that kind of made me stop in the store and go, this is kind of ruining my suspension of disbelief. So Mars is a female Rottweiler and she kind of has hangups about having like a male name and that she is, as they say in the book, ugly and masculine, which I really didn't like. And I just don't think animals would care about traditional feminine and masculine things. Dogs do not have sexual dimorphism. 
which is what it means when like males and females look different in a species like birds you know male birds will often be more colorful and bright while females are dull and gray or something i just don't think dogs would care if they're feminine or not so it kind of made me step back and go mm, i don't like that um so i think they should the author should have cut that part out and kind of put more in with the ending plot lines because i think those are the best in the book like i think i was really invested and i read through it pretty quickly i think those should have been given more time to dive into and it would have been overall a better book and the stuff with the bear and her cub i think she should have been more of a threat throughout the book instead of just showing up occasionally causing some mayhem and then running off i think she, it, she should have been more apparent especially considering how important that plot line was but that being said i really did enjoy the book i found it a fun read to just kind of you know go back to my roots of talking animal stories you know it reminded me a lot of the kind of stories i would write uh, back in the day but yeah so if you like talking animal stories and wolves and foxes i would recommend this book like even despite the flaws i think it was super fun to read and sometimes it's just nice to you know read about talking animals you know so anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!